All right, so first thing I want to talk about is, believe it or not, not everybody who experiences a traumatic event is going to develop PTSD. Um, it's about 8 to 15 percent. Now, I'm a case in point, because when I was going from my first master's in education at Cal State, I was working in a gas station, and I got held up at gunpoint. And I didn't get PTSD, go figure. Um, but I didn't get it. Um, but but lots of people do get it, and it's a terrible, terrible disorder. So um, in order to find out what PTSD is, we have to consult the American Psychiatric Association's Book of Fairy Tales. Um, and this Book of Fairy Tales is called the DSM-5. Now, it was the 4. Uh, this is the latest edition in their book of logical fictions. And so what they say that PTSD is, is it's exposure to an aversive event or repeated exposure to an aversive event, or you witness an aversive event, or you learn about an aversive event that affects a loved one. So for example, getting, um, getting um, molested, raped, um, held up at gunpoint, carjacked, that all meets the criteria. Um, if, you were, if you watched the plane hit the North Tower on September 11, 2001, that's a traumatic event, and, and many people came down with PTSD um, after they witnessed that event. So that counts. And then learning about a, tra a, tra a trauma that a loved one experienced, like for instance, if your brother or your sister were murdered, um, that meets criteria. But there's a problem. Can anyone imagine what the problem is with this? Can anybody? There's a problem with this definition. Big problem. Number, the m number one major problem is that the DSM-5 is atheoretical, and it deals with mental disorders as syndromes. PTSD is the only diagnosis where they talk about a specific cause, and this is going to be a, a big problem, a big, big problem.